Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It is October 6th and we are heading out just before sunset here on the south shore on Lake Ontario. Let's see if we can get some salmon. So we have had very warm, dry weather lately. So the creeks are very low and warm. You can see our water temp in the creek here is about 67. So these salmon are not super excited about coming up into the creeks right now. So it's not great if you're a creek fisherman, but it can be a good opportunity to catch these fish as they're staging up out in front of the creeks. So you see we got some guys fishing the piers here. My plan is to just anchor up in about 10, 15 feet of water and throw some glow spoons once it gets dark, see if we can get some fish. I'm gonna fish probably a couple nights this weekend. I'm by myself tonight on the boat. Might have some buddies with me tomorrow, we'll see. But uh, we're gonna go out, we're gonna throw some moonshine, see if we can get some fish. So we got another guy out here, setting up to do the same thing I'm doing probably, unless he's just cruising. But it is probably about quarter to seven. Sun's just going down, it's a beautiful night on the lake. We actually got, we got a cold front coming and a bunch of wind, west northwest wind, which is no bueno for doing this. So we're gonna try it tonight. I'm just gonna anchor up and got a couple rods with me. The rod I've been fishing primarily is the seven foot six Shimano Terramar inshore spinning rod. It's a medium heavy. And uh, this is what I've been fishing mostly on the pier this year too. This rod's awesome. I really like it. It's actually hard to find a one piece rod that's seven six. So I ended up, it's actually a saltwater, you know, spinning rod, inshore spinning rod, but I really like it for the pier fishing. I got it rigged up with the Sedona 4000 here and I'm fishing braid, 20 pound braid. I really like suffix 832 if you can find it. And I just have a 50 pound Spro little swivel there and two, three feet of 17 pound fluorocarbon to a Dreamweaver tournament grade swivel. Pretty much using that swivel for everything now. I believe that's a size one. And I have some three quarter and half ounce glow spoons. Casting for them like this, there's usually a lot of downtime, but when one does hit it, they usually just totally freight train it. So it's a lot of fun. And it's a, if you like to fish for trout and salmon there isn't too much more fun than hooking one of these big kings on like a seven foot medium heavy spinning rod with braid especially retrieving tight line when they smash it to feel these big kings just totally truck your lure is is pretty sweet and makes it worth it so just hooked up guys first fish Now because I'm by myself, this doesn't break my heart that it's running way out there. Because I, I don't want this thing anywhere near the boat when it's got energy. So it's way, way, way off the bow right now, which is totally fine with me. This is why you need at least a 4,000 size spinning reel if you're going to do this. Because these fish will spool you on a 3,000 sp spinning reel for sure. Starting to get a little tired, I think. Starting to come at me. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. All I can do now is just hope he stays high. Oh, there he is right there. There's my swim platform. He's closer than I thought he was. Not a huge one, but a decent one. It's like a male. Nice male. Alright, let's get our net here. Looks like he's kind of wore out. Got him. 
One down, boys. Nice male. Not a huge male, but probably a 14 pounder. Maybe. Maybe 14. Yeah, a little skinny male. Gonna let him go. That's a spoon right there. Green glow. fish is in really good shape. It's not hooked bad. It's hooked good, but not hooked bad. <laughs> Does that make sense? Alright. Cool, cool. Maybe they're going to bite tonight, boys. That was pretty. Well, I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> pretty quick response. Alright, buddy. should recover really well. This water's pretty cool. Here, shallow, a lot cooler than the creek water. They're always a little stressed after that fight, but there you go. Here you go, you wanna grab that nut? Yeah, grab that nut. Ready? Tag him? Yeah, good. Oh, never mind. Oh, he jumped again, dude. He thinks he's a steelhead. Get out of here. Yeah, and the spoon popped right when you nutted her, too. <laughs> here, I can take her back here. Or whatever, whatever you. I'll pass it here. I'll get her. Hell yeah, man. Yep, I get Ain't a real big one, but it's one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cool. All right. You good? Yeah, I got it. That looks so cool, oh, that's man. A good one, man. Looks like you took that spoon deep too, man. Don't break me off, don't break me off. I'll try and turn into yep. you. No, not quite, yep. not quite. Come here, big boy. <laughs> he got him. <laughs> Cause I think, I think, no, you're good. I, I think the spoon caught the net. All right, cool, we got him. We got some. Yeah, oh, that's a little that's a little small. smaller than the last one. He's small. Still pretty bright though. Man, look like, dude, he freaking choked that lure. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, he's a little smaller. Fifteen pounder. Oh, look at that. Is it good? Yeah man. Cool fish, dude. Come on, biggie boy. Oh, there he goes. Sweet. Yeah, man. Back to the depths. All right. Thank you, Chuchi. Yes, sir. He's done a decent net, man. No, oh, no. He's deep. Don't even worry about him yet, dude. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, dude. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a big male, dude. Spoon's out. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, go ahead. You can just lift him. Flop him right on the deck, man. You might be aware. I have to weigh that one. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. She's bigger than if he's bigger than 17, he's going to Johnny Boys. Is that still the lead? Oh uh, no, actually there's a 25. Is it really? Yeah. Damn. And uh, I got the story too. Yeah, let me just get Look at that fish, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, he didn't get hooked too bad. There you go, come on. Come on, dude. And get him by his tail. There we go. Come on. 
Come on, swim, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> Little fireworks show there. <laughs> 